<laughs> awkward. Things are awkward. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Life is Strange True Colors. You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? I'm not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> yeah, I think of something. <laughs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh, shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. What do we got to do? Time to earn a paycheck. I should... Oh, I should have really let her finish. Ah, Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? How many times can I play Freebird before Jed gets pissed? Is it more than once? Well, I really can't play anything because there's new Zach. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Mmm. Appetizing. Maybe I can give her a pep talk using my extensive knowledge of running. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. How do these bird washing contests even work? Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. <laughs> what? Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. How's it going? We have some ideas that are gonna blow your mind. Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. 
can't wait. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird, I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Girl from Rome? I may not be able to play it, but I can look, right? Jed's such a liar. Jed's such a liar. Okay. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar? It's not in the jukebox. I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Where are you, girl from Rome? It's supposed to be, I looked it up. It's called, I got a girl from Louis Bega. I don't know. How would I find out? I wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus on her future, not mine. Riley found out? I wonder what this means for them. I feel terrible for Eleanor. And I don't think it's getting any easier. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Hey, is everything okay with you and Riley? For the most part. She's pushing herself too hard helping me. I just want her to focus on her own life now. Let me know what I can do. You've done so much already. I'm grateful, Alex. Oh. Where would they put this record? Maybe it's like behind the bar? I better do some cleanup before my shift is over. Fuck you, Ryan Lucan. Enjoy your Birder of the Year title while it lasts. Ooh, shit. Ryan's got a rival. The Spring Festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Time for your bath. You. You. Hey, welcome. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. Hold up, hold up. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. It's gonna be 
be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. Poor Ducky. I wonder what's going on. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always it. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. Charlotte must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll like it. So, I started Dust in Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. You. Hey boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. This is near the front, right? Think I'm playing it? One small victory that no one will ever know about. Alabaster Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? <sighs> well, we have two plans, actually. But... We're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. <sighs> now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. 
Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> I'm genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <laughs> can, I have a, can I have a second to think about it? Uh... I feel like this is the more interesting route. Let's go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the... the effort. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? Hmm. All I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. <laughs> Such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. Diane seems really put together, but inside, she's just as much a mess as the rest of us. Are you... Joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. 
Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Time to find out what Diane is really hiding. He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played. But at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. It's kind of weird for a bartender just to be sitting there. Hey, Diane. Oh, hey, Steph. How are you? So, what's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single? Semi-single? Taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa, <laughs> was not expecting that at all. Um, am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, I could see your cheeks from space. <laughs> Super, real good look for me. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. Waterfall. Pants are a waterfall right now. See ya. chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, 
we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Distract, distract. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win, right? I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. I feel like I kept the hat in here. Huh, there it is. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. She does a cross-eyed look every, in every picture. It's weird. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. We're one step closer now. Steph, I will murder you. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. I am... A bar, health, I feel like I should read these. Half elf, Thanor. Still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Who's in his thingy? I actually like the mustard yellow. I don't know why, but I like it. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. 
Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. There it is. Okay, just need to grab my guitar now. I was hoping to find some pirate treasure, but I get. You gotta take those keys. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Torque. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? A dire rat joined your party. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> okay. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Like, cheering up, or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get to play my first LARP with you. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun yeah especially my mom 
She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm, like, bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine, too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Wouldn't it make sense to hang a guitar the other way so when you sit down you don't like bash the end of it? Looks awkward. Facing point down. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A horde of ogres. That's a lot. Thanor slew them with a single shot. <laughs> My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom. Survive whatever's out there and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting. Find some jewels. How, how do we know where to look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. Where, where did my list go? What I'm supposed to be looking for? Oh. Soul Amethyst, Soul Sapphire, Soul Ruby. What do you think the jewels are for? Maybe some kind of magic ritual that protects the whole kingdom. Does King Tabor know magic? I guess we'll find out. Man, literally a needle in a haystack.
I'm going to boost you. Stirring him. Double Feynor's next attack. Burning blade. Burning blade. Two damage. <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Ah. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. <clears throat> Two damage. <clears throat> Do you have an item? Loot. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going. Fire you blast. Think, you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. <laughs> I'm actually into this. It's kind of funny. So we just run around town looking for encounters. I guess. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. KKK. Heed my. Sorry. We gotta get back to our quest. No hard feelings, fellow bard. This guy's having the time of his life. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. Can we hear that riddle again, please? There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. I know this guy. He's one of Steph's co-workers. Whoa, what's that about? Looks like you dropped something, Diane. Swamp troll? Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in.
Whoa! Place got messed up. What happened here? Fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. He kind of looks like a gnome. Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Oh, on the back doors? Let's see what we can find around here. Steph really went all out in here. We're gonna have to deal with this, aren't we? Yes? How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. She had it coming, stingy dish wench. Want to tell them about our quest? We're on a quest to end the age of monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake. Snake! We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. Okay, I think I- I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks. I actually feel bad for that person. If there was a monster and you only had your guitar, would you smash their head with it? Be honest. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I love this guitar. That's okay. You could just run. Yeah. Thanor, did you see this? That's got to be it. Pretty cool box. Hey. It's one of the jewels. One down, two to go. That was a Ugh. rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. In retrospect, this is so obviously a decoy. House Bard. Sorry, Steph. Alexandra is pretty happy with her current gig. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, a coin. Money. We can buy stuff soon. I want to focus on Ethan right now. What happened to the rest of the music? What happened to the rest of the music? Need the other half. This kingdom has serious problems. Oh gosh, I think Ducky dropped this. 
Oh gosh, I think Ducky dropped this. Can I read what it says? That better be washable. Here we go. This probably has the answer to that riddle. I thought there were three heroes. This is where you take a picture with your phone so you can save this later and not have to remember it. There you go. Got it. Got it. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. Yes, Lawrence is going to need a new business advisor. I was having such a quiet morning. Bye. Godspeed. Check out what I found in that chest. Only used once. Nice work, Thanor. Save that for a big attack. <laughs> Mike Lawler. You see, I warned you. There was some really interesting stuff in there. Ready to answer? I'll say it once more. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead. Fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Their names are... The answer is Mira, Dasis, and Belen. You solved the riddle you've been told. Your prize? A useful hint. Behold. To bribe that deadly troll of old, you have to pay four coins of gold. Four coins. Got it. Ah, there's more. Because you solved my verse, you may take one gold from my purse. I just need Thanks. one more. One more, one more, one more. A scroll! That's gonna get soggy if I leave it there. Another magic scroll. Nice. Yes. I'm getting into this. I'm getting into this. I gotta save all the scrolls for the final boss. Should beat up the jester and take the rest of his coins. <laughs> Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you how? Hey, hey, what's all this? Too busy to talk right now. Sorry. Knock him dead. Sorry. Did you say she stole? Hey, kid. You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? We're the good guys. Found a scroll? Yeah. Could there be something down the alley? <laughs> dead guy? Why is my dead... Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, 
My love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... Yonder... Alley. Near the river. Alas... Uh Beware of river monster. <laughs> Same guy. Some kind of snake? I guess. Use the bell, use the bell. Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? I feel bad for it. It's just living its life. Being a snake. It eats people. It's gonna attack. What do you want to do? Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend that's a low sound. Snake's ears are internal, so they can't hear. Nice. This is. Hey, we got the four coins. More loot. All right. Let's make some ears bleed. Sweet. Wait. What's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. That was so shit. That didn't take long. <laughs> Depending on the world. Huh? Ah, that's so funny. Oh, scroll. Got another scroll. Cool. Dodge scroll. Oh, got the other piece of the music. Can't wait to transfix some monsters with my sweet hypnotic jams. King. Man, I kind of want to do live action role playing right now. <laughs> okay. We handled the rivers. Now it's just the troll left. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Just looking down the street to make sure there's nothing just randomly on the ground. Don't think the LARP goes that far. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Appreciates my... Oh, there! I hear you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of sun silver. Don't suppose you know the composition? Um, oh, what a thankless life, being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa, he's 
really into this. It's really sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. What did you need again? Sunsilver? The components for Sunsilver! Okay, we'll find out. We'll find out. Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal. Come in. <laughs> 